Hi guys, welcome to this video on stoichiometry where you're going to be looking at how you can work out the balanced equation when given the starting masses and how you can work out the limiting reactant for a chemical reaction. So in an exam you might get a question like this. It says element Z reacts with oxygen to form an oxide. 32.5 grams of Z reacts with 6.4 grams of oxygen. Write a balanced equation for this reaction. Now your first step is to actually work out the moles. Now you should be familiar with doing this from having seen the other videos. To do that you take the mass, you divide it by the molecular mass, the formula mass. So if we wanted to do that for Z, we know we have a mass of 32.5. So 32.5, we divide that by the atomic mass which is 65 and that comes out to 0.5 moles. Do the same for oxygen. Now remember oxygen is diatomic so it's O2 so I've got two oxygens that's 2 times 16 therefore I divide my 6.4 by 32 which gives me 0.2 moles. Now although it hasn't told you the mass of your Z oxide it has told you that there's only one product so to work out the overall mass all you need to do is actually add them together so 32.5 which is my Z, 6.4 which is my oxygen so my overall mass is 38.9 and therefore I can work out the moles of my Z oxide which is 38.9 divided by 389 which is my molecular formula, molecular mass and then that comes out at 0.1 moles Step two is to divide the moles by the smallest number, which in this case is 0.1. So I divide all three by 0.1. So 0.5 divided by 0.1 gives me 5. 0.2 divided by 0.1 gives me 2. And 0.1 divided by 0.1 gives me 1. That tells me I have 5Z, 2O2, and 1Z oxide. The next step is to work out the formula of your oxide now that you have the balanced part of the left-hand side of the equation. So to do that, have a look at how many Zs you have and how many oxygens you have on the left hand side. So I have 5 Zs and 2 times 2, which is 4 oxygens. Now because I've only got one lot of my Z oxide, I've got to have 5 Zs and 4 oxygens. Therefore, I have Z5O4. I can replace that into my equation with Z5O4. And that is the answer to the question. Right, now that we've seen one example, let's have a look at another. So example two says element AB reacts with oxygen to form an oxide. 200 grams of AB reacts to form 360 grams of the oxide. Write a balanced symbol equation for the reaction. So let's put in all the information we know then. Now I've been told I have 200 grams of element AB. I have 360 grams of my AB oxide, but I don't know how much oxygen I've got. Now, I've only got one product, therefore take them away and I get 160 grams of oxygen. So now I've got my masses in. I've been given my atomic and molecular masses, which are in the top right hand corner in green, so I can work out the moles, which is mass divided by MR. So AB is 200 divided by 40, which gives me 5 moles. Oxygen is 160 divided by 2 times 16, which is 32. So 160 divided by 32, which gives me 5. And then my AB oxide, I've been given my molecular mass of 72. So 360 divided by 72, which also gives me 5. Step 3 was to divide all of them by the smallest, which in this case, they're all 5, so they're all the smallest. So you divide each by 5, which will give me a ratio of 1 to 1 to 1. So now all that's left is to actually work out the formula of the oxide. So look at how many atoms you have on the left and on the right. So first of all I have 1AB and then I have two oxygens. So on the right hand side I only have one compound, my AB oxide, therefore I have to have 1AB, two oxygens, so my formula is ABO2. Okay, let's move on to the second part of this video then, which is how to find out the limiting reactant. So you might get a question that says 15.9 grams of copper oxide were put into a crucible with 0.3 grams of carbon and heated until reacted. 
You're given the atomic masses and the balance symbol equation and asked what is the limiting reactant. So the first step, like in the previous sections, is to work out the number of moles. So always write in the mass and the MR, then you can work out the moles from that. So we're told we've got 15.9 grams of copper oxide and 0.3 grams of copper. The next thing to do is to put in the moles. So to work out the moles, first of all, you need to work out the atomic masses or the molecular masses. So I've got 63.5 plus 16, which is 79.5. I've got two lots of them. So my MR for copper oxide is 159. So if you divide 15.9 by 159, that will give me 0.1 moles, which I'll add in in a second. Carbon is 0.3 divided by 12, and that gives me 0.025. So my second step is to divide by the smallest, which in this case is 0.025. So dividing them both by 0.025, I get for my copper oxide 4 and for my carbon 1. The final step for this part then is to work out the limiting reactant and to do that you need to compare the ratios of both what you've just worked out and the balance symbol equation. So if I compare my copper oxide to my carbon then I can see that I have got in my balanced equation a ratio of 2 to 1, 2 copper oxides to 1 carbon and in the ratio I've just worked out it's 4 to 1. If it's 4 to 1 that's bigger which means it must be in excess so my copper oxide is in excess my carbon is the same amount, so that must be my limiting reactant. Okay, let's have a look at a question then. So question one says 8.64 grams of aluminium reacted with an unknown gas Z2 to form a single ionic compound with a mass of 42.72 grams. Write a balanced equation for the reaction. So to do this, the first thing you should remember is work out the mass of each of your products and reactants. Your next step, work out the moles. You've got the atomic mass and the molecular masses, all three there. And then divide by the smallest. The slight difference in this one is when you work out dividing by the smallest, you'll actually get yourself an unwhole number. So you need to multiply up to get everything to a whole number. Once you've done that, it's the same as the steps we've looked at before. Question two, four grams of methane, CH4, burned in 80 grams of oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water. Find the limiting reactant. So with this one, start off by writing out your balance symbol equation. Remember, oxygen is O2, carbon dioxide CO2, water H2O. Once you've done that and balanced it, you've got the masses that you need. You've got the atomic masses so you can work out the moles. And then you can follow the normal steps from there. Pause the video, have a go at each of the steps, and we'll see how you've done in a minute. Right, let's see how you've done then. So the first thing we need to do in this question is we've got to figure out all the masses. So we know we've got 8.64 grams of aluminium. We don't know the mass of the gas, but we do know the mass of the product we make. So to work out the mass of the gas, we just take them away because we know we've only got one product. So 42.72 minus 8.64 gives me 34.08 grams of my unknown gas. So the second step then is to work out the moles for each of them. So we have the atomic and molecular masses, we have the masses, so moles is mass divided by MR, so that for aluminium is 8.64 divided by 27, which gives me 0.32 moles. For Z2 it's 34.08 divided by 71, which gives me 0.48. And then the product 42.72 divided by 133.5 gives me 0.32. So you get one mark if you've done that correctly. The second mark is for dividing each by the smallest number, which in this case is 0.32. So you divide 0.32 by 0.32, you get 1 for aluminium. 0.48 divided by 0.32 gives me 1.5 for Z2. And then for the product, I get 1 again. Now the difference here is I've got an unwhole number. So I've got a decimal place with my Z2. That needs to be a whole number. So what I need to do is multiply all three by a number to give me all of them being whole, which in this case is 2. So if I multiply AL by 2, I get 2AL. 1.5 times by 2, I get 3Z2, and my product, I get 2, which should give me the start of my equation that looks like this. So all that's left is to actually work out what my product is. So to do that, look at the left-hand side. I've got two aluminiums, 
and then I've got 3 times 2 Z, so I've got 6 Z. On the right hand side, I've got 2 of my product, so I need to divide all of that by 2, which gives me 1 aluminium and 3 Z, so I get Al Z3. I can then put that into my equation, so I have 2 Al plus 3 Z2 goes to 2 Al Z3, and that gets me my final mark. Question two then, so we have four grams of methane, CH4, burning in 80 grams of oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water, find the limiting reactant. So your first step is to write that balanced equation. So we've got CH4, we know oxygen is O2, carbon CO2, water H2O, work it out and balance it. Your next step is to work out the moles. So we've got methane, which is CH4, so that's 12 plus 4 times 1. So that's 16, so 4 grams, which is our mass, divided by RMR, 16, gives me 0.25 moles. For oxygen, I have O2, which is 16 times 2 is 32, but I've got two lots of it. So that's 64. So 80 divided by 64 gives me 1.25 moles. So your next step is to divide by the smallest, which in this case is 0.25. So that gives me CH4, which is 0.25 divided by 0.25, gives me 1. And O2, 1.25 divided by 0.25, which gives me 5. And the final step is to compare to the balanced equation. So I had 1 methane and 1 methane. And down here, I've got 5 oxygens to the 2 up there, which means that my oxygen is in excess. So the methane, CH4, must be the limiting reactant. So for this, you've got one mark for the balanced equation one mark for working out the moles for each, one mark for dividing each by the smallest, and then one mark for saying which is the limiting reactant. That brings us to the end of this video. I have a couple of review questions for you, which are question one, a scientist heats tin and iodine together. They react to form a single product, a metal halide. Given that 3.57 grams of tin reacts exactly with 1.524 grams of iodine, Write a balanced equation for this reaction. So that should be fairly straightforward. Start off, same steps as normal, get all your masses together, then work out your moles by dividing mass by MR, and so on. Then question two, one gram of warm sodium was added to a gas jar containing one gram of chlorine gas. They reacted to form sodium chloride. So you've got the equation, which is 2Na plus Cl2 goes to 2NaCl determine the limiting reactant from this reaction, which is worth three marks. And that brings us to an end to this video. Hi guys, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, click the subscribe button down below and visit the website mrbarnstc.com for more.